What's up guys? My name is Jeff. Welcome back to my channel. You guys may already have an idea of what are we gonna talk on this vlog today from the video title itself. But before I proceed, just in case you haven't yet, please do subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so that you'll get updated each time I will upload a new video. Yes, you're right. We will be talking about chasing Aurora. What is an Aurora Borealis? Guys, according to Google, an Aurora Borealis is a natural phenomenon which is characterized by a display of natural color, green, red, yellow, or white light. In the sky, a light show which is causing electrically charged particles from the sun collecting. <laughs> Aurora Borealis, guys, for me, is really a beautiful phenomenon. I've been dreaming to see that northern light ever since I've discovered it on Scavert Channel when I was nine. I was really happy to finally take off northern lights in my bucket list. Woo! And just because I have already experienced Aurora doesn't mean I'm gonna stop there. There's still a lot of light formation to see, to catch, so I'm excited for that. But on today's vlog, I'm gonna share with you how I was able to experience the beautiful northern lights. Before I fully experienced basking under the northern lights, I've also failed like maybe twice. Well, just to set your expectations straight, I'm no pro. This is actually my first try to chase Aurora. Since this has been my dream to experience it since I was nine years old, Woo! finally it came true. The experience was so ecstatic, everything was so worth it. But on today's video, let me show you how I successfully captured Aurora. So I've just got a few things for you guys, and I hope those who have not experienced Aurora and would like to, this may help you out. So this is the Chasing Aurora beginner level. I only needed three apps to help me track Aurora Borealis. The Google search application which lead me to the Aurora Watch website. The Weather Space Live application that can tell you days ahead of possible northern light activities. Third is Facebook. Since I live in Alberta, Canada, a friend suggested me to an Alberta Facebook group called Alberta Aurora Chasers. The admins of this group are extremely knowledgeable and a lot of members are sharing their amazing Aurora captures too. We're already here. This is the Astoton Lake. It says on the weather report that it's cloudy. Woo! When chasing Aurora in public, here are a few important reminders to note. Turn off or minimize usage of your car headlight as it may cause light pollution to the horizon. Minimize your voice while in public and maintain social distancing. Also, bring face coverings with you. Protect each other. Practice Kago. Clean as you go. Bye. Set proper expectation when chasing the northern lights. Expect Hi guys, to fail. my name is Jeff. Welcome back to my channel. So today, we are actually hitting the road. We're just stopping by to get our food here. What's up guys, my name is Jeff. And welcome back to my channel. So if you have noticed, it's so dark right now. Of course, we are back here in Elk Island. What's up guys, my name is Jeff. Oh. And welcome back to my vlog. So today we are here in Elk Island. This is our third time. This is also our third attempt to catch the Aurora Borealis. <laughs> Expect a lot of waiting game. Here's to waiting game. Hey guys, so we're just having dinner. So just in case we Aurora won't show up, at least we're here to like eat dinner. <laughs> so I'll just go out for a bit to check. Mm. We're having dinner. We're just here for dinner. Got that. Expect the unexpected. All right, guys. So finally, I've been dreaming to see the Aurora since I was nine, and today I was able to like we were able to witness it. We're so lucky. It was. So so visible, it was so good. I can you can see the Aurora dancing. So amazing, right? Oh my god, oh my god. I wouldn't get tired of watching Aurora. My camera actually died, so that's actually a signal for us to go home at 2.23 in the morning. <laughs> Hi guys, my name is Jeff. I live in Alberta, and this is where I first experienced Aurora Borealis.
who are planning to experience Aurora Borealis who are on their first times. I'm hoping this video help you a little and like I've said there are a lot of ways in how to find Aurora Borealis. This is just my experience and again if you are new here please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you always get updated whenever I upload a new video. And if you like this video please give it a thumbs up so YouTube will also recommend this to some more viewers. And I also want to give a shout out to Chef Jap TV. Shout out to you sir. Also giving a shout out to Ryan's Budget Meal. You guys should check out their YouTube channels for a really, really good food vlog. Also, I want to give a shout out to Raya of the Morales Family Vlogs. That's it for today's video, folks. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!